Hi everybody, Byron Martin here at Logie's Greenhouses and today we're going to be talking about one of our wonderful and crazy plants, Edith Colia grandis, which is also known as the Persian carpet flower. As you can see it looks like a starfish, has these brilliant colors. It's in the Stapelia family. When the flowers first emerge they come out as like this pouch, which is quite interesting. And when we look at the tip of this we actually see another bud coming. So this plant is actually going to be going into several cycles of bloom throughout the summertime. Well, the flower actually is pollinated by insects like most stapeliids and it has a kind of an off smell. It's not bad like carrion like many of them but it has an odd smell to it and it attracts the flies or whatever the insect in the native area is in to pollinate the flower. This is a really dry land plant and if you're growing this, which it actually makes a great container plant, you can kill it with too much water. And uh, most of the death of the Edith Collier are because they're overwatered. So when we grow this, culturally, we do not water it during the winter time. Absolute, total restriction of water. And amazing because it comes from arid regions of Africa, the Horn of Africa, um, Ethiopia, and Somalia, it goes through these incredible droughts. And you need to give it that in order to um, culture it properly. And during the summertime, we do water it. We water it when the soil becomes very dry and the temperatures are high in the summertime and then it's given what would be considered rain in its native habitat. Other than that, it's a pretty simple plant to grow. A little bit of fertilizer, but don't overdo it. It's not a fast growing plant and can suffer if you overfeed it. You need to grow it in bright sun. This is a plant that would be found growing out in the open. Something that can sit on a windowsill, a bright sunny windowsill, well, a fair amount of neglect and do quite well. well thank you for watching today. There's a little bit of information on one of our bizarre and wonderful dry land plants. If you'd like more information, visit us at logies.com. Thank you.